From the very beginning, it's always started the same way. For every one of them, across generations, across eras, across history. Over more than a century, they've all waited to get the same word. To get word that they've been chosen. Chosen to sacrifice. To dedicate. To serve. Dear Mr. Elliot. Dear Mr. E. Dear Mr. Holden. You've been selected for a mission. And authorized to report to the United States Naval Academy. The United States Military Academy. On the 9th of July, 1960, 14, on 12 July. 2001, and West Point, New York. So proud of you, son. Are you sure about this? Yeah. You're that boy's gonna be an officer in the United States Army. If only they know what it feels like to be a different kind of kid. The kind of kid willing to risk life for country. So many people ask, why would he ever commit to going to this type of an institution? It's scary as a parent. It's something I think every parent thinks about. But you're proud of him on the other hand, you know? Because they're actually giving up a lot of themselves to support and protect everyone else. How many people can say that that's what their kid decides to do? It's in his heart, and it has to be in your heart to defend the country. You can expect to be challenged academically, physically, morally. Uh, your summers <laughs> basically don't exist. You miss out on the kids' holidays. It's not going to be an easy journey. You have your academics, you have your military and duty, and you have football. Yes, it is just a game, but a game that epitomizes everything they're here for. It's the only game that everyone's playing in it. They're willing to die for everyone who's watching it. Since 1890, the Army-Navy game has embodied the timeless commitment of a group of young men and women to the nation and the ideals that both academies serve. War heroes, presidents, and Heisman winners have all graced this stage. Enemies for one day, who know their calling will unite them when they leave the field. Just as their stories do, wherever in America they began. Our flag in Jersey. Chicago, Illinois. Phoenix, Arizona. Nashville, Tennessee. Our son is Jackson Dittman. James Nautical, number 19. Johnny Trainer. Number 6. Andrew Wilson, number 61. Go Navy! Never forget how it all starts for them. Never forget what it takes to decide as a kid that your life is going to be about more than just yourself. You're a mother, you're always gonna worry. That's her first one. She carried them around for, for 40 weeks. They would do whatever it took to protect our country. It's tough. Once he decided and thought that this was right for him, I supported him 100%. He knew it was the place for him, so I really just tried to embrace that. You're not going to be selfish. That's the unselfish thing for your kids. You let them go. You gotta let them go. From the very beginning, it's always started the same way. Across generations. Across eras. They've gotten word that they've been chosen to sacrifice. To dedicate to serve and they've headed off to West Point in Annapolis it takes a certain kind of kid to commit to these institutions now today in a football game celebrate the courage of every man and woman to ever make that commitment for the 118th time this is Army Navy